For you at 5 o'clock, a woman from Hamden is very, very lucky after getting hit with a stray bullet while watching TV at home. The Pinpoint News Tracker showing us the scene from Saturday night at Butler and Goodrich Streets. That's right near the uh, town line with New Haven, and that's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane. He's joining us live right now with the latest on this. Matt. No, Mark, this was one of two shootings Saturday night taking place roughly a half hour apart. As for this woman that was hit, well, police say she was not the intended target. Meanwhile, we spoke to her boyfriend off camera today, and he tells us just that, you know, they don't deserve this and that they don't bother anyone. David Sims is out here daily. This has to be done. I consider the labor alone. As I care. With his gloves, a couple of trash pickers, and a basket quickly filling up with garbage, Sims wants to see his neighborhood get cleaned up. And he's not just talking about the trash, but also the violence. No one's safe in this area. A stray bullet through the wall, through your window, like for example, happened to anyone at any time. You can see the two bullet holes in the first floor apartment on Butler Street. One through a window, the other through the siding. Hamden police tell us a stray bullet hitting a woman Saturday night. Her boyfriend, who didn't want to talk on camera, tells us she was sitting in a chair watching TV when the bullet struck her in the shoulder. Across the street, neighbors tell us their home got hit as well. And around the corner, detectives were at another house after a person noticed roughly a dozen shell casings in their driveway this morning. It's senseless. These crimes out here, we have a new generation, and I don't understand why all of the shootings are going on and we're killing ourselves. Just a half hour after the woman was hit Saturday night, Hamden police responded to Warner Street for another shooting in which a 39-year-old man was shot a number of times. This woman, who lives just over the town line in New Haven, says she wants to move. I have a bullet hole in my own home right now. I live on a street where the crime is just out of control. And it's, it's unfortunate, and I'm just going to have to keep praying and hoping that, you know, that they come to become together. Because right now, we are separated. And while police continue to investigate, Sims tells us he'd never leave the neighborhood he's called home for nearly 30 years. For now, he'll keep picking up garbage, all while hoping the guns will go away. The violence needs to stop because enough is enough. People need to get the act together. And the woman was hit. We're told she is still in the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Anyone with information into the two shootings is asked to give police a call. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Hamden. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.